Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Benjamin, and welcome to another Game Maker tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make an HTTP request in Game Maker and access an API. <clears throat> you may not know what some of some of those words mean, so let me explain. First, um, come to this website, uinames.com. Now this is a website where you can just press space and it gives you a random name within the United States, right? Pretty cool. The nice thing about this website is that it has an API. And if you click on the options here, you can see they've got an API. API just means application program interface. And it's just a way for an outside application to access functionality of this website I guess so we can use this to actually get a random name you can see right here we could do if you just grab this URL right here api.uinames.com and you post it into your browser it's gonna make a request to that API which is going to return this code right here, this section of code. Now this section of code right here is a JSON <coughs> object. Now a JSON object is just stands for JavaScript Object Notation and it's kind of like a DS map in GameMaker where it's just a set of key value pairs. We have a name and then here's the name. We have a surname and then here's the surname, a gender, there's the gender, a country, here's the country. So if you want to access one of those, you could just do uh, whatever object dot name and that would give you Sarah. So let's open up our uh, Game Maker program project. Got two here because I've got one that is a reference project. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a little uh, way that we can access the API. So let's call this sprite button and I'm going to edit this. Let's make it width of 128 and a height of 64, not 16, not 16. We want 64. Eh, 48 there, that's pretty good. Okay. And I'm just going to draw this, make it black, maybe an outline, I guess. Get this color and do this and this color, do this. There we go. We've got a button we can press. I'm going to center it. Okay, let's create an object now. We'll just call this object button and we'll grab that sprite. And we'll give it a mouse left, not released, change, a mouse left pressed event. So just got a normal button with a mouse left pressed event. We're going to grab a section of code here. And we're going to write one little simple line of code, which is make the HT, the, okay, make the HTTP request. And we're just going to do HTTP get. And then we're going to paste that URL that we had. But we're going to surround the URL with quotes. There we go. We've got quotes around this URL. Now, we've made the request. But since the request is going to go out over the internet, it's not going. This is just the request. So we actually have to wait and get the receive, um, whatever we receive from it. And the way we do that is we add an event and go to asynchronous events, and there's one for HTTP. Now this event is gonna fire when, or happen, I guess I should say, when we get the, when we get the answer. So we've sent out a question, basically, with the request, and this is gonna fire when we get the answer. So, and it's going to give us access to the result of the answer. And I'll show you how we can get that. So 
get the answer and we're going to create a temporary object called json because it returns a json right so we're just going to create this variable called json and that's going to be equal to async load question mark result the async load this is a ds map that is only available inside of the asynchronous events and if we do async load result this is going to get the result of our request which is probably which is going to be a json object okay now we want to we can't really do much with a json object cuz we're not in javascript we're in gamemaker so we need to convert it convert the json to a ds map and GameMaker has a function for doing that. We'll call this var map equals JSON decode and just pass in the JSON that we got. So that will convert the JSON into a DS map, something we can actually work with. We need to check to make sure that we didn't get invalid an invalid JSON. If we did, then it will return this function right here will return a negative one. So we can do if map equals negative one exit. So we'll just exit out of the event. It was not the correct uh, format. In fact, what we might want to do is we might want to show a message here to say show message invalid result that's pretty vague but we just know something broke okay now that we've done that we can we want to make sure that the DS I'm just gonna double check make sure that the DS map exists we're gonna do if DS map exists no there we go exists map um, this checks to make sure that a certain key is inside of our DS map. So the one we're going to use is name because it's going to return a name, right? So let's make sure that the name exists inside of our DS map. If it does, show message, we'll show a message. The random name is, and then we'll just add name except we don't have access to that yet so we need to grab it so if the map exists we'll create name equals uh, map name so if the map that we got back has a name in it basically then we'll assign that string to this variable right here and we'll show that with our show message let's create a room and put this in our room just to see if things are going to work. 640 by 360. Room test. We'll throw our object in the room. And I'm just going to give it, you know, some sort of a different background color so that. There we go. So we can see the button. Well, I'm going to save it real quick and run the game. Now we should be able to click on it and get a random name. Let's see what happens. The random name is Toby. You can click on it again. The random name is Mircea. I don't know how to say that. These are getting names from different countries. Like that is not a name that I know how to pronounce. Um... So it's getting just random names from all these different countries. Well, maybe you don't want that. Maybe you want a random name from a specific country. So let me show you how you can do that as well. The nice thing is with an API, the URL right here that you, that you use in the request is kind of like your function. And there's a way to pass in parameters into that URL. And so the first thing we want, we may want to pass into it is, uh, let's add a, um, let's add a question mark here. Cause this, this signifies, okay, we're going to be passing in some parameters. The first parameter let's pass in, let's pass in, um, gender equals 
female, so we're only going to get female names. And we can do an and sign. Country. Country equals uh, Mexico. Let's do Mexico. Now we should be able to run our program again. And now that we've passed in, we want female names from Mexico. We're going to get some names from Mexico. So we've got... That doesn't look like a name from Mexico to me. That does. I Maybe I just couldn't see the other one very well. But Silvana, Sorana. Yeah, see these look good. Viorica, Vi Viorica maybe? Not sure where to put the accent on that one. So yeah, we've got some different names from Mexico. Uh, if you want to do, you may want to do United States, or you may want to do a country with a space in it. I don't know how many countries there are that have spaces in their name, but United States is one of them. So United, and to do a space, it's a percent sign and then 20 states. There we go, United percent sign 20 states. Let's run it again, and just for kicks, let's switch this. Let's take off the gender so we get both male and female names from our requests. And Bianca. Man, it seems that it's getting some names that are from different countries still to me, even though we passed in the United States, did I? Maybe, I? maybe I didn't pass in the API correctly, I don't know. Yeah, that's... But it's still working. It, you, If you do something wrong, normally it just blows up and says that didn't work. Let's try Brazil. I wonder if it's if I have to do it with the S or with the Z for their API to work. I don't know. That is not Brazil. We're just getting random names still from every country. So let's look at our API. So it says we can pass in country Country equals Germany. Did I spell country wrong? Possibly. That could very much be the problem. Yep. I did county. Country. It's really easy to confuse those two. There we go. Now probably this will start working. I was wondering why it wasn't working at all. We've got Brazil now. We should get some Brazilian names. Oh, invalid result. The random name is Douglas. Juliana. Vitor. Luis. Vitoria. These look right. Julio. Juvenal. That's an interesting name I've never heard. Lavinia, 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 interesting, Sofia, Lucas, Artur, <laughs> um, I think these are working, I wonder why we got an invalid result on the first time, not sure why we got an invalid res result on the first time, but it looks like the country is working for Brazil, United, percent sign 20, states, let's throw the United States back in there. And we'll see, Shirley, Billy, Christina, these are definitely United States names. Anyways. There you go. It's kind of fun. I wonder if we click it twice really fast. If we click it twice really fast, we should get two results in a row. The second one is invalid. 
Wonder why. Do we click it three times? Interesting. Oh well. I uh, it was just messing around with this and thought I'd show you guys what I was messing around with. It's not too bad to make a simple little HTTP request. This is a GET request. There's other. There's another function you can, uh, if you want to dig a little deeper. Um, there's there's a GET there's a GET file, a POST string, and then there's also a HTTP request, which lets you pass in the URL, the method, the header, map, and the body. So uh, there's some more that you can look into there, but this shows you just the basics and maybe it'll get you a little interested in that and show you a little bit of how uh, some of the asynchronous events work in Game Maker. So thank you for watching this video. Be sure and like, favorite, and subscribe. Um, check out my, the description. I'm almost finished with the hard copies from my Game Maker book. A lot of you have been asking about them and wondering when they're going to come out. So there's been kind of a uh, it's been a lot of work, but I redesigned the cover art for it, and I think it looks really cool. I've got a lot of positive feedback on that, and so I'm super excited because I, I, I'm one of the, I guess, test copies is uh, being printed right now, so I should be getting that. I'll probably do a video showing you guys what that looks like. I'm excited for that, so keep an eye out for that video, and I will talk to you guys later.